So I was having a conversation um, with someone, somebody about this, and it is your wife. Well, and my uncle really. Oh. But uh, <laughs> so, you know, I really feel like I really became like started to really become better in that. You know, I felt like I could play anywhere in any situation when I had finally committed myself to practicing my scales and my arpeggios. Now, everybody hears this all the time. Like, you know, it's like it's like really cliche to say that. I mean, hey, if you want to get better, practice scales and arpeggios. And that's how I always that's how I always took it in my head. Like I would do it, but I wouldn't do it. You know what I mean? And so I was having a talk with my uncle and we were talking about um, how people bring their different experiences and their different influences into a situation off the rip. And so your influences and your experiences are going to affect the effectiveness, so to speak, of, you know, of like of your of your of your practicing. So, for instance, just now, like, you know, so I'm settled like so when I was out, like, you know, playing out and stuff like that before I had a family, it was like I thought one way and now settle down is so funny. It's like I had a chance to step back, you know, 10 years out of school, step back and be like, Oh, okay, I might have done this. Okay, I could have done this. I could have, or better. I'm talking about like, you know, musically or, okay, I should have approached, I should have had this approach. And man, if I were to get, you know, if I were to get some time to practice again, you know, because I, I have my kids, then I would do it this way. So when I finally started to have that chance to do it, what I did was I had finally committed myself to doing my scales, arpeggios, you know, approach notes and everything like that for different chords, um, you know, in, in, in exercises of playing over changes. And what I found was, it was like, oh my gosh, it's like, you know, it's like, it's like being, it's like a, it's like, you know, being this picture, but it's, but it's a total outline. And so finally feeling like I've been colored in, you know what I'm saying? Like, I finally feel like there was substance now behind everything I was doing. And it was because I practiced my scales and arpeggios, but my different influences and things like that, you know, always wanted to play the dope chords and stuff like that. Well, it came into play now, but I was, but I felt myself naturally going to those chords or naturally going to certain, you know, really musical lines and things like that naturally. And at the right time, because now, you know, those ideas were always there, but now I have that vehicle to get there, you know, your musical ideas are like just different islands and your scales and arpeggios are the boats to get to those islands. And so now I finally felt like I can get to those islands. So if I can tell y'all anything, it's yo, don't, don't, don't uh, forsake your scales and arpeggios. All right.